What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Alright, so I finally got my hands on something I've been waiting for for a long time. And, uh, that's right. NECA finally released the Bride of Chucky, Ultimate Chucky, and Tiffany. So let's break this open and check them out. All right, but before we break it open, let's take a look at the ultimate box here. So we got the Bride of Chucky artwork here on the front. We got Chucky and Tiffany on the front side. It's actually a really cool side. Other side with Tiffany and then the back. And this one is jam packed full of accessories, as you can tell by the extra wide box that NECA put these characters in. So all the different scenarios, all the different uh, accessories that you can see the knife guns um the necklace it comes with an extra head of tiffany with actually wearing the uh the veil when we open up the flap there's actually two velcro tabs here and check it out and if you guys remember the end of the movie when chucky and tiffany were fighting each other with the shovels and check it out guys now you can see why i've been waiting for this uh ultimate chucky and tiffany from bride of chucky all the different, uh, look at all the different hands. Uh, looks like you got the different arms for the uh, the wedding dress. Tiffany has three different interchangeable heads. Chucky has three different interchangeable heads. They both have a shovel. They both have a knife. They both have a gun. <laughs> There's a baster. Oh my goodness. All right, guys, let's break this open. All right, guys, here they are out of the box. Chucky and Tiffany from Bride of Chucky. And... Let's take a look at Chucky first. So, of course, if you guys are familiar with the, the movie franchise, this is well after Chucky has been uh, destroyed, blown up, all everything. I mean, look, at you can see how weathered and destroyed and cut up and stapled back together. He's got cuts all over him. So, look at this. Even in the back here, he's got some... Uh, little tear in the back here with some blood down here on his on his legs on his leg here on his side but he is pretty darn accurate to the movie taking a look at him and this is just one of his heads that he comes with and what I noticed also the Tiffany character here the Tiffany doll that she actually comes with some cloth clothing and uh, that's not typical of ultimate figures they usually are like this just molded plastic for the uh, for the clothing but with Tiffany here she actually does have her wedding gown her wedding dress on here and it is actually cloth this is great but look at the detail even on her necklace here the tattoo on her chest there black on the fingernails on both sides and boots so let's see how tall these guys are. So Chuck, Chucky looks like he's about four inches tall. And Tiffany, I'm guessing, is about the same. Yeah, right around four inches. Okay, so there's a lot to go over with each one. So I'm gonna start with the man himself, Chucky. So let's go over his articulation. His head does rotate. Uh, there's not much up and down movement. Shoulders, looks like we have lift up on his shoulders and rotate all the way around cool um, his elbows bend there and his wrists twist all the way around and we do have some articulation up and down obviously the same with this side so that's about what we can do with his shoulders right there cool looks like it's just one piece in his overalls here and uh, we can't move them hardly at all now his legs, we can put both of his legs up like he's kicking, or if he wants to sit, just like that. Knees, and with his feet here, it's like we can move up and down, twist all the way around, and do we have a pivot? Yes, we do. Cool. All right, so regarding all the accessories, I'm gonna start with everything that was on 
Chucky side. You can see I took everything out from Chucky's side. So this is one of his alternate heads here. Of course, the detail on these are always, always great. You can just see in the cuts in his forehead how much that stands out. That looks great. You can see the difference between the one he comes with and the head here, which looks like the head that he comes with has his hair slicked back a little bit more. Here it's more, more forward. Cool. And then the second head that he comes with, right here. Stapled hair is always my favorite from this movie. Wow, look at that gash in his head. That's so cool. All the stitching comes through pretty nice. And once again, let's take a look at the head that he comes with. And you can see the differences. There's two different shovels that he comes with. Uh, the other one is Tiffany's shovel. And like I mentioned before, it's what they use to uh, fight each other at the very end of the movie. And taking this out, I had to be pretty careful because it was strapped in. It was kind of uh, jammed in there from the actual shovel part. So the handle, I was lifting up on it and started to bend. So be very careful with these, especially the long plastic pieces when you're taking them out because you don't want to break them. Is his axe, which, to tell you the truth, I'm not too impressed with. It looks very, very generic. It looks like they didn't put a lot of uh, anything. I don't remember what the axe looked like from the movie, but it had to look more realistic than this thing. It's just a generic red handle, generic silver for the head of the axe, and uh, that's it. But it's an axe. We'll move on. Same deal with the knife that is on Chucky's side. A little butcher knife here. Once again, not much detailing. It's just pretty straightforward. One of the guns, and this is the gun that Chucky uses in the movie. So, just straight black and a little bit of silver here on the, uh, the chamber. Not really, I'm not sure why this would be on Chucky's side with the champagne bottle. This is actually a weapon that Tiffany uses while she's in that motel room in Niagara Falls. She uses this, she tosses it up and hits the mirror above the couple and the mirror pieces come down. This is actually a pretty cool addition to this, uh, to this set. I like it. And I might need help with this one, guys. I'm not exactly sure what this is supposed to be. It's like a little vial. But uh, I don't remember this from the movie at all. So if anybody can uh, leave me a comment below and uh, remind me exactly what this is supposed to be. He comes with this hand with the wound on it and then a plain hand here and looks like he can hold weapons in both. So his alternate hands are here. Just a plain hand with his hands kind of open. They're really small, but no wound on this one, okay? And then the next two, they both have wounds on it. Here's one with the wound on it, and his next one. Looks like he can possibly carry something in this hand. So that's it for all of Chucky's accessories, at least all the accessories on his side. Let's take a look at Tiffany now. First up, one of Tiffany's alternate heads. Very, very uh, menacing look on her face here. Hair is all molded. Very, very cool. And you can see the difference, what it looks like from her head that she comes with. Much more evil look on our face with this one. And the next one here I like a lot. It's the uh, the veil that completes her wedding dress look. And this is actually real cloth here. It comes down and see how really you can see how it would look with this head on her regular body here. You know what? I think you can take this whole jacket off. I'm actually going to try this because she comes with 
alternate arms to complete the wedding dress look. So I'm gonna try that. Yeah, so guys, honestly, I didn't know that you could do this. So her jacket comes right off. Bruh. I had no idea. And then here's her arms here from the jacket. All right, and then what I'm gonna do is just put her wedding dress arms on and then <laughs> head with the veil. So Tiffany with her complete wedding dress. <laughs> that is so cool. That is such a nice surprise for me. If you want to display her like this, you, uh, you totally can. But I'll probably keep the leather jacket on her with maybe the, uh, the more evil looking head that she comes with. So let's continue on with the accessories she comes with. Here's the second shovel. This one is a little bit longer than the uh, the first one that I showed you. And you can see here on the shovel head, it's got a lot of detail on it, or at least they make it look a little bit weathered as opposed to the ax and you can see the actual butcher knife here, the second butcher knife. There's just like nothing on it. It's just silver and that's it. But at least they tried a little bit with the uh, with the shovel. Next we got the uh, baster. It's not rubber. It's hard. It's hard plastic, so you can't squeeze it. So, but it does have some clear some clear plastics. So you can see it just like a normal baster. Cool. All right. So here we got the gun that Tiffany uses in the movie. It's silver with a brown handle. Okay. Once again, it's just just painted silver and not a lot of detail. Okay, here is one of her hands that she comes with. And the other two, I'll kind of show you. These are so small, I mean, really hard to show because they're just so tiny. Because these are only four inch characters, so all the accessories are super small. That's one of the hands and then the two that she comes with on her leather jacket arms and then I put two on her wedding dress arms here so it's a total of five last but not least is the necklace so let me see if you can get a nice look at this necklace here kind of see that comes with a very very delicate chain I don't want to mess with this too much because I feel like I can break this thing pretty easy and there's even some stuff on the back here some writing on the back Ooh. There we go, see that? Cool, all right, and I skipped right over Tiffany's points of articulation, so uh, let's do that right now. So with her head, she can move up and down, of course, left and right. Looks like she has complete movement on a swivel, okay? Her uh, shoulders move up and down and up, and then we have movement in the elbows. Of course, we can move her wrist all the way around and up and down. Same thing with the other side. Um, with her waist, we actually do have some movement in her waist all the way around on a swivel. Almost a ball, I think there's a ball joint in there. Okay, and then with her legs, let's lift these up. Oh wow, so it looks like she's wearing some, some stockings it's like a garter belt and this is the movement with her legs up and down and we can do kind of a split oh there we go yep and bend at the knees and her well actually the knees do rotate all the way around and then up and down with her foot left and right it looks like it does pivot yeah you got some movement there same thing with the other side. I'm gonna put her back the way she was, except I'm gonna put the evil head on her. All right, and here's what they both look like with the butcher knives in their hands. I'm not gonna go through and show them with every single weapon, like their guns and the shovels and the ax, and because they uh, this video will be an hour long. So I'm just gonna show you with the traditional butcher knife that they come with, and here's Tiffany. Put her evil face on, put the leather jacket back on, and, uh, with the butcher knife in her hand, which is so cool. What do you guys think?
All right, and uh, when you take it out of the box, just like every other Ultimate figure, it does have a little uh, cardboard cutout that you can pose these guys with. And this one is just a lightning strike at the end of the movie. The newer way they've been doing this, they've been giving you the little, little cheap, thin cardboard in the back, but they went back to the actual thick cardboard for this Ultimate. Uh, Chucky and Tiffany, which I love a lot. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. What do you guys think of the ultimate Chucky and Tiffany from the Bride of Chucky movie from NECA? I think they're great. I mean, you can look at these guys side by side, and they are exact replicas from the movie, in my opinion. I think NECA hit another home run with this one, especially with the Tiffany character, with taking off her jacket, putting her in a, putting her in a full uh, wedding dress. It's actually cloth. And that's what I like about this one. It's, uh, they actually gave you cloth. It's not a retro cloth series. It's an actual ultimate figure. And uh, they're pretty rare. They don't do that a lot. But with this Tiffany character, you're getting that. All right, guys, let me know in the comments below what you guys think, if you're going to pick it up. But if you did enjoy this video, please give me that thumbs up. Please subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.